Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hoping everyone is doing good today. Uh, today I'm going to share with you all a very, very simple and very delicious ice cream recipe. Just two ingredients. The two ingredients that we are going to use are heavy whipping cream and condensed milk. So, uh, once we make the base, the regular base, uh, we can use that to make different types of flavors. So today we're going to try three different flavors. Uh, one, we are going to make mango ice cream. Uh, berry strawberry ice cream and chocolate ice cream okay so and then I've taken frozen mango or uh, this is around a one cup and these are frozen mixed berries you can just take frozen strawberries uh, I didn't have frozen strawberries I had frozen mixed berries so this is blueberries raspberries strawberries but even if you just have frozen strawberries or even if you have fresh ones freeze them then it will quicken up your ice cream making process because it's already uh, frozen all right, and then I have chopped up a uh, fresh mango here uh, to add it once the ice cream is ready. Uh, if you want like pieces of fruit in your ice cream. And then this is some chopped fresh berries. Now both of these from Costco and I'll really quick show you the packets. Okay, so this is the organic mango chunks so these are the frozen ones all right you can use fresh too i'm just using the frozen ones and these are the organic mixed berries uh these are this these are both from costco and the chocolate ice cream we are going to use cocoa powder we are going to use one fourth cup or four tablespoons of cocoa powder this is the starbucks cocoa powder you can use any brand cadbury's drinking chocolate also works great and to that we are going to add half a teaspoon of instant coffee and then once the ice cream is ready we will just uh, chop up some chocolate any chocolate of your choice and we'll add it to the ice cream before we freeze it all right so we'll go ahead and begin the process all right so the heavy whipping cream we'll measure one cup of this and this is one cup of that and to that we will add a cup of sweet condensed milk or mithai made or anything similar and now we'll go ahead and churn this together So we're going to churn this uh, for around 30 seconds till it's nice and clean. Okay, so now to this we're just going to stir it a little bit. Okay, now to this we will add another half a cup of whipping cream. Alright, and just stir it a little bit. It's getting nice and creamy. Too. Uh, look at this. See, it's getting nice and creamy. So another 30 seconds it should get done really done. Okay, so this is how it looks like. All right, now we're going to take it out in a cup. So this is the base of our ice cream. So here we have two cups of base. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, uh, this is the one cup of chopped, sorry, mango chunks. And we're going to add that. And then we are going to add around, say half a cup of, or three fourth cups of the uh, base that we prepare. Now, if your mixer cannot handle frozen fruit, uh, then make sure it's thawed and then you can freeze the ice cream. Uh, but if it can handle uh, frozen fruit, then you can definitely churn it. It's just easier, it'll freeze faster. So, we'll mix this till the mango is ready for around 30 seconds.
Okay, so this is your mango ice cream. See how thick it is because the mangoes were frozen and it's nicely blended. So we're going to take this out in a separate container that is freezer safe. All right, so glass, which is freezer safe, is a good uh, container to freeze your ice creams. So then I'm going to now transfer this. See, it's already nicely thickened. So in like a couple of hours, it should be uh, nicely set. All right, see how simple this method is. And then to this, we're going to add the fresh chopped mango. And we'll just stir. Uh, we just mix it. You can mix smaller pieces if you like, uh, or you know, if you don't like pieces of fruit, you can just blend it, and uh, that's your mango ice cream. But uh, if you like uh, pieces of fruit in your ice cream, then you can just add the chopped fruit like this. Okay, so this is our mango ice cream. We'll freeze this, and then I'll show you how it looks once it's uh, ready after a couple of hours. All right, now we'll go ahead and make the strawberry ice cream. So we will add another half cup of the ice cream base okay a little more and to that we will add the frozen berries again you can just use strawberries freeze them a little bit so the ice cream uh, gets thickened real quick and then we will churn this together so Churn it for around 30 seconds uh, to a minute or till all the fruit is nicely pureed. Put this off. And then we will take it out in a container. See how beautiful that color is. So we are going to pour this in another freezer safe container, preferably glass. And then we're going to freeze this. And then the chopped fresh strawberries, we're going to mix these in the ice cream. So I really love to eat pieces of fruit in the ice cream. If you just like uh, just smooth plain ice cream, then you can just stop at the frozen berries puree and don't need to add the chopped fruit. All right, so this is our second ice cream, the strawberry ice cream that is ready. Now we'll go ahead and make the chocolate. All right, so now we are going to make the chocolate ice cream. So for that, we have now three fourth cups of the remaining uh, base, the ice cream base that we made. And then to that, we are going to add one fourth, fourth cup of uh, cocoa powder. You could use uh, Cadbury's drinking chocolate, any cocoa powder of your choice. All right, so I'm going to add this to this. And also instant coffee, half teaspoon. So now we're just going to add this to the jar. And this had uh, berries in it, but that's okay. The chocolate is going to cover it. If you don't like the mi uh, flavors mixing slightly, uh, you can just rinse the jar and use it. But you won't really notice the difference because the chocolate and the coffee have a more stronger taste. All right, so that's ready. And now we're going to start blending this. maybe around 30 seconds and while that is getting done here we have chopped those chocolates you can take any chocolate of your choice so lint truffles or anything that you like or you can even add Kit Kat or any chocolates of your choice just chop them into bits and we'll add them to the ice cream to freeze it right, so this is ready this off and then we're going to pour this out and add the chocolate 
all right so we're going to pour out the chocolate ice cream base see the color is all gone and uh, trust me you won't even taste the berries but if you really want to you can rinse it and then add the chocolate all right so this is done and then to that we are going to just add the chocolate chip pieces as many or as little as you like it's up to you and then we are going to freeze this and then this will be ready in another three four hours so here are three ice cream flavors are ready see how easy that was it took less than 10 minutes and we have chocolate strawberry and mango flavors and you can pretty much make any flavors of your choice with any fruits nuts or uh, whatever you desire to add to these uh, ice cream so we are going to freeze this for like three to four hours and then we're going to come and check and um, we'll see how it looks once it's done all right so we'll come back once these ice cream are set i'm going to just uh, put them in the freezer now so our ice cream is set now if you're making it at night you can uh, leave it overnight or even in four to six hours it should set nicely so this is uh, how it looks when it's ready so this is the mango the strawberry and the chocolate flavors and then we have fresh mango fresh strawberries and some chocolate uh, that we are going to top it with so i'm going to scoop this out and then uh, we come back and see how that looks. so finally our three delicious instant ice cream chocolate strawberry and mango is ready it's very 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 delicious definitely try this and again if you freeze the fruit it will become instantly done uh, in no time you could also freeze the base in ice cube trays and that way then mix it with uh, any fruit of your choice to have your instant ice cream so do let me know in the comments if you try it what all flavors of fruits did you use or any other cookies or chocolates that you mixed in this and uh, definitely try this instant ice cream recipe and it's it does taste amazing all right so till then take care and do subscribe to my channel and i'll come back with more videos all right have fun bye bye